Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today, I got something. We got this, we got X-Pin displays for this sorcerer. We are going with blue displays. First thing you want to do, pop the cord out of the wall so you don't get your butt zapped. Second, remove the high voltage display fuse, which I already did. And on the sorcerer, it should be right here. This top one under this big giant cap, remove that. Second, we got this door open already. Let's leave it open. Let's get a bar stool over here that we can use as a table to start pulling some things out. All right, we're gonna pull stuff out and then we're gonna put stuff in. I want to see what these displays look like. I know they're blue. They're going to look badass in the Sorcerer. Oh yeah, look at that. X-Pen, can we focus? I don't feel like manually focusing everything today. There we go. X-Pen displays. We're going to be putting all these in. You can focus now, trust me. We're going to put all these in the machine. Let's set these over here on my Spanish eye. Let's get them all out of the bag. So when we get to that point, it's not going to be a big pain in the butt. I guess we'll unplug one. Plug one in. Unplug one. Plug one in. Just keep doing that over and over and over. All right. As you can see, this game I fully went through. I touched almost everything on it. I didn't do any board work or anything like that. Nothing like that. Um, well, I lie. This is the extent of the board work I did. I put in, um, what do you call it? Um, what is this? I don't know, I got something. A sticker. I don't know what that's for. The other ones have that? Um, I put in um, colored flippers. Flippers with lights. And there's one in each one of them. I wonder if it's just some type of protection. Goes in a bag. We will find out. This has one too. This is the credit um, ball and play, I believe. Got another sticker. I'll put that separate. Different one. So we got four displays. One um, display that does the ball and play and credits. And each one of these has this little looks. It's some type of sticker I can tell. Don't know exactly what for. I don't remember saying anything in instructions about stickers. Hmm. Uh, never mind. Let's turn off my phone so it doesn't make noise. All right. And this is the main computer. It says the plugs in exactly the same. Yeah, 
was the original. So we're gonna test that out. And so far, well, I ain't lying. Everything looks just about the same, almost. some bent pins on here. Right on the end, we got bent pins. So I'll straighten those out first. Nothing major. Just a pain in the butt when it's up on the board. If I can straighten them out now, it's more than happy. Which can easily happen, you know. I don't blame it on the manufacturer, really. This can happen during shipping. Just, you know, the mailman throwing it around. It could have got thrown just right and landed on there on itself and bent itself. That's always something good to check. Alrighty then. Okay, we got that fixed. It's a little different. Um, this is player two. This I believe is player one. Which is on the side. Player three is right here. No, is right here and it goes to there. Player four goes to here and a credit match, which is here. Goes up here. So I don't see oh how in the hell that's happening. That one, I don't see how in the hell that this cable is getting up here. You know what I mean? If this mounts in the same spot. I can see everything else going in the right spot. But um, I would have to take the cable off of one of these and swap it with player one in order to do that. Let's make sure this is the correct unit. Let me pause this. All right, it's the uh, right display and everything. So I guess I'm just gonna have to, um, what do you call it? Adjust as needed for these displays. Um, just in case, you know me. Okay, this is one, which was here. One, this, actually this is player two, player two. This is player one, and the red went to this side. This is player three. Okay, um, let's get that out of the way. This one right here is the credit display in reds on this side. It came out really easy. And this is player four, which is over here. And it came out there. 
So I'm going to use this dump plug. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's it. Alright. What I did was my own reference in case um, something is goofy um, and you guys can't really see what I did. So I will move you. I can get my HDMI cable out of the way. All right, I just unplugged all these connectors off the board. They all were in different spots around the board. And I just wanted to note where each one was because some of these cables are shorter than others. So I'm gonna have to repurpose them into different parts of the board. Just because this board has connectors in different spots. So we're gonna have to use different cables to go to different spots now. Since this board um, the connectors are connecting in different areas now. I'm gonna put this over here. This is a brand new play field. I'm not dropping anything on it. And there's your board, your original. Nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong. Where's the bag to, to put it back in? Nothing wrong. It's just an upgrade. The displays are a little weak on this game, but nothing to toss in the garbage can. So we are putting this on here. And all these screws just go right on here. Like that. Like that. They all plug in relatively the same spot. I don't know what these are for. I'm guessing it's for different machines. They do that a lot. They make one board that can work different machines, which is cool. And that one, I'm gonna have to use a wrench on. Because that little power thing, dimmer switch, whatever, is in my way. Okay. And then we can go like this. All right, those are all connected. Now we go to the other side and these will get disconnected but we're just going to leave them there for right now because we're going to start putting these displays on can you see me now that tape that was in there is some type of lens i believe it goes on the glass we're not using that. The customer can, if they want to apply it. I'm not. Well, these displays, they go anywhere you want them to go. left and right adjustable. And they're even labeled pin one, which is nice. 
Now these I am not tightening down all the way. The reason why these adjust from side to side like that. So I'm going to try to get them right smack in the middle and then once the game is up and running then we will adjust them side to side. But as of right now we will not. Alright. Oh, that's missing a screw. I knew this one was different. This display right here sat lower on the glass. And I had measured it actually. And this one was different sized. It, it actually sat a little bit lower so it, it popped out weird in the glass. So somebody replaced it one time. But it works. It's real heavy. Let's see what it looks like compared to the others. Pretty much the same. It's got a different part number on the back. But um, glass wise, if you look at it, you can see this one sets up a little bit higher, the digits, and this one's a little bit lower. So in the original back glass, you could see the top, which was very ugly. They're just so crazy, stupid light. Okay, remember we only got two screws on this one. Which is nothing wrong with that. They'll hold. This is a home game. It's not getting transported around from bar to bar. Two nuts will hold it. Okay, this is player two and player four. And we gotta change these cores out. They're not going to where they need to go. Player two is a real short cord now. So we can probably use this display cord. good. Player 4 goes where? Player 4 goes here. We don't need this long cord. That was my biggest issue was that one. This one's going to be another issue. So let's work on this one. All the other cords should fall in place pretty good. So that's not player four, it's player two. Let's go back on that one. This is player two. Okay, that's player two. I did it right. You big dummy. Okay. And the red goes there. Yeah, ten one. Ten one. Alright, let's get that on the display on. Do, do, do. This is the one that needed a longer cord. Instructions real quick again. The very vague instructions. Yeah, okay. So 
want to make sure this is the, the pin side, which is red. Sorry about the camera being jostled around. All right, that's in there like that. This was the display credit match. So we need a longer cord for that one now. one first that had the wonky cord. And we'll just go into player four. Yes. So we had to switch one cord. Okay, that fits perfect. And this is what player three? Make sure the red cord's down and every single one. Now we gotta work on those too. You gotta get out of my way. You know what? It would help if you took these and put them over there. So they're not in your way. But they are in your hands. He's got all four. Which is good, you know why? Since this got two, I'm going to put three on it. Since that one's got two, we'll put three on it. So what we will do, we will have three displays with three bolts on them, and one display with four bolts on it. This way they're all secured better. At least they're having three bolts on instead of none, I mean two. Three is pretty good. This one will hit three. Let's put that there. Right here. 
I've never used X-Pin before. I have used um, Wolfpack before. If you look at my taxi video, I did rebuilt, well, I didn't rebuilt, I built all Wolfpack boards for that game. Which was kind of cool, they come in a kit, or I think you can get them pre-assembled. I bought them as a kit, and I assembled them, which was pretty fun. It took forever. It was pretty fun doing. I learned a lot about soldering, doing them. Okay, now before we fire this up, I just want to make sure everything is in its correct spot. Everything is red where it's supposed to be on the harnesses. Needs to be at this first connector. Red and red. Okay, red's got to be on all those first connectors. All right. Now on the back, I just want to open it back up. Make sure red. It's clearly marked red on each one. This is player four, this is player four, this is player two, which is player two, this is credit match, which is credit match, this is player three, which is player three, this is player one, which is player one. Everything is plugged in right. There shouldn't be any issues. Shouldn't be any issues. There's nothing that can go wrong because it's plugged in right. <laughs> God, that is sexy. Man. Man, that is sexy. No, they're not flickering. That flickering you see that is not happening. They're solid. The flickering is the uh, camera rate versus the LED pattern of its translucent technical jive versus the filament to the proxy of the gab. This one just a little bit. That one is not tight. Or can it move over? 
don't think it can. Yeah. Let's lock those down. one I just want to move over a little bit. That was probably a little bit too much. Actually no. Damn that is sexy dude. That is sexy. Let's get the lights off. You don't think that's sexy, you're not in the pinball. Because anybody that's in a pinball knows those displays are sexy. Let's get them tightened up the rest of the way. These are perfect. They're perfect where they're at. They don't need to be moved. Are we still recording? We had 22.59. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you find out it's helpful, please like and subscribe. Please follow us on Facebook at Mark's Basement Arcade. Um, give us a thumbs up if you can. It sure helps out a lot with everything. Helps out with the searching in YouTube al algorithms and all that juicy crap. And that one doesn't want to tighten. So we'll move that one to a different post. And that's probably why it was missing some. So anyways, that's it. Everybody, thanks for watching. And you just learned how to put X-Pen displays on your Williams Sorcerer. And I imagine it works for other Williams games too. So anyways, big thumbs up later and thank you all for watching.